Now what iDrax is, is a um, server management software that's built into most, I guess it's optional, but it's, it's built into most uh, Dell servers. <laughs> go to the iDrex IP. It's going to complain that it's not secure. So you go down here to more information and just go to the page anyway. It's the server in your basement, so it's safe. Now log in. <coughs> And this is the problem I get with Internet Explorer, is it'll just say, page can't be displayed if you try to do anything, same thing, power, nothing. But it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not, it's not refreshing at all. So, what we're going to try and do is hopefully... And this should work is go to compatibility view settings. Add the Drax uh, IP into the compatibility view and it'll refresh. Now it should work. Should work. See? And there it goes. Okay. Now another thing. <coughs> as you see this here and if you launch this is going to come up and there's nothing and what this does is allows you to see what's going on from a remote place while the server is booting and I don't mean from Windows I'm talking about booting from BIOS so we want to install this that's going to take a while I'm not going to cut this out, so just so you see, but this is, you know, it, it's okay that this is going to take a little while before it comes back up with anything. So this, uh, this is normal. So you don't, it's going to come up there. Go ahead. Yes. And I have, I have no success with uh, Chrome at all. I don't even want to bother with Edge might work with edge but I was getting the same thing now this is going to error this is not going to connect see it's going to say connection failed that's fine close it out relaunch it see it's connecting immediately now and it should come up with our virtual see it's doing it is working there it is now we are connected via virtual console to our ser our Dell <coughs> uh, server in the basement. The only thing is, is you can't do a control out the lead. This is what you get. It, it does it on the main. So I know there's a fix for that. If there's a way to do that. Let's see, I should actually shrink this up. Ah, right there. See that? Go right up here. It's under micros, control out delete. And it's supposed to send, there it goes. Now it'll type in your password. There you go. So, this is how you get uh, iDrax 6, it might work for 7, to work on a Windows 10 installation. Okay guys, if you liked that video, you know what to do. If you didn't, well, again, you know what to do, but come on, it's, I finally figured it out. And hopefully this will help you get your system configured to be able to remotely administrate a, a Dell our series server that has the iDrax expansion in it. Uh, 
I'm sorry for having it kind of stretched a little bit. The resolution wasn't as great as it should have been. What I had to do was uh, a friend of mine and I run a show called Anything Goes. We do it every Thursday night at 7.30. Shameless plug, I know. But when I used OBS to capture, I forgot to hit transition. So I had to zoom in on the portion of the screen to be able to show you guys what I was doing, how I was doing it. So you'll have to forgive the video quality a little bit. Uh, if you want to watch an overview of that Dell server, I'll put a tag. It's either over here or over. I don't know where it puts it. I think it puts it over here.